Hi again, everyone. It's Matt Piscatella from the NPD Group. I'm the U.S. Video Games Industry Analyst, and welcome to the July 2018 U.S. Video Game Market Highlights with data from the NPD Group. So for July 2018, the U.S. video game market, the need to knows are, well, total sales are up again this month, up 14% in July. We are now up 17% year to date. Octopath Traveler was July's best-selling game. And half of the top 10 bestsellers this month are Nintendo platform exclusives. Hardware sales were up 19% in July, Nintendo Switch being the best-selling hardware platform in both units and dollars. And it's the highest Nintendo hardware unit sales month for July since way back in July 2009. And finally, we have another record high month in the accessories and game card segment with gamepad and headset headphone spending uh, reaching all-time July highs. So looking at the total industry spend chart for 2018, total sales growth of 14% to about $750 million. Hardware up 19%. PC and video game software sales across both physical and digital uh, for digital for the Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox platforms for members of the Digital Leader panel. We're down 12% to $246 million, while sales of accessories and game cards were up uh, by almost half. On a total spend trend basis, you can see it here, July 18, well ahead of the previous four years. Accessories and game card spending at $286 million. Uh, significantly higher than the past few years. Um, software spending trends about where it should on an on a uh, normalized basis. And then accessories and game cards, or I'm sorry, hardware down at the bottom, uh, reaching a uh, recent high. On a year-to-date basis, sales up 17% overall to about $6.8 billion. Uh, hardware sales up 21% to $1.9 billion. Uh, software sales up 5% to $2.8 billion. And accessory game cards, again, up 33% to $2.1 billion. On an annualized trend basis, again, really solid performance in 2018. Uh, accessories and game card spending exceeding $2 billion in the year, the earliest in the year that that's happened. Uh, whereas uh, software and hardware sales are also trending very well on a year-to-date basis. Some notable performances and some sneak peeks there for the animation. Octopath Traveler was July's best-selling game. And again, half of the July's top 10 bestsellers are Nintendo platform exclusives. Nintendo Switch, I don't have the animation there. It's fine, though. Nintendo Switch was July's best-selling hardware platform. It's the only platform showing year-on-year -year growth in full game software sales in July. And it's the top, Nintendo is the top-selling publisher of both July and now 2018 year-to-date, uh, taking the top spot from Ubisoft in the month. And finally, in terms of E and T rated games, uh, something interesting going on here. Sales growth of 22% uh, for E and T rated games to about 1.2 billion. That's 44% of all consumer spending on full game sales. That's six share points higher than a year ago. So E and T rated games are having a surge. M rated games are losing share to this segment. And uh, this can be attributed to a large extent to the growth of sales of software for Nintendo Switch. For the top 20 titles of the month, Octopath Traveler takes the top spot. Grand Theft Auto V takes the number two spot. It was number one on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, with Kart, Crash Bandicoot, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild rounding out the top five. Followed by Far Cry 5, Super Mario Odyssey, The Crew 2, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, and Mario Tennis Aces rounding out the top 10. For a year-to-date basis, Far Cry 5 uh, ma maintains that number one spot, followed by God of War and Monster Hunter World. And for the 12-month period ending July, Call of Duty World War II maintains the number one spot. A bit of a flip down at the bottom um, of the list with Grand Theft Auto V uh, hit number nine on the 12-month trailing basis. Um, but overall, a uh, very similar list to uh, last month with Call of Duty, NBA 2K, and Destiny 2 at the top of the list. So that's a quick look at uh, July data, another great month for the U.S. video game space, a particularly good month for Nintendo. Um, so we'll see you on September 18th, where we'll take a look at August, which of course is the month of Madden and uh, the real kickoff to the holiday period. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.